Ja la la la, heb je even voor mij, maak wat tijd voor me vrij, ieder uur van de dag, denk ik steeds aan je lach, alleen jij maakt me blij. What's up guys, welcome to this video. So I had to do a Dutch intro, cause I'm from the Dutch land. And I'm doing a Dutch video. I'm gonna do a typical Dutch meal today. So for the past few weeks, I've done only sweets. I've done only chocolate reviews. So today I thought, let's change it up. Let's make a typical Dutch meal. I've never made a typical Dutch meal. So Holland doesn't really have typical meals or typical dishes like the Balkan or Turkey or Morocco or Asia. Wherever you go, everybody has like a typical meal. Holland doesn't really have that. Holland has a lot of snacks, a lot of like treats. But not really savory stuff besides this one, but this one isn't really like Dutch Everybody eats it, but the combination is Dutch. Every Dutch person knows this dish. So what I'm gonna make today is this dish Stompop met rookworst. This is maybe the easiest recipe you can make but a typical Dutch one So first off what you need the main ingredient is kale. So this is your normal kale Potatoes and the smoked sausage. So three ingredients. I might add some milk to the mashed potatoes later on, but this is what you need. So let's make it. First off, we gotta peel the potatoes. So there is no Dutch way to peel a potato. Just peel it however you want it. Like that, we peel the potatoes. Now take a saucepan and just cut up your potatoes in squares. Then take your bag of kill. And just top off the potatoes with how much kale you want. Just top it off. I'm gonna do this. Half of the bag is enough. Now I'm just gonna add some water. I'm not gonna cover everything just like that. Top it off with a lid and turn the heat on. Cook this for 30 minutes and I will see you in a second. So I've got five minutes left and the kale and potatoes are almost done. And now I'm gonna get over to the sausage. So I've made a mistake and I should have cooked or boiled this with the mashed potatoes and the kale right there, but I forgot it. So what I'm gonna do is take it out and you can see it's like in a package, so you should boil it like this. But what I'm gonna do, the quick method, I've got only five minutes left. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Take a plate, put it on a plate, and I'm just gonna microwave it for two minutes. This is the quick method, not the best method, but I'm just gonna do it. Two minutes, like that. Like that, the sausage is done smoking hot. And what I'm also gonna do, I've got here just a little bit of milk, maybe 100 milliliters. I'm gonna heat it up for like 30 seconds and add that to my mashed potatoes. I want it to be creamy. So that is done. I'm gonna rinse up the kale and the potatoes right now. Take all the water out, water out. Woo! And there goes all the vitamins. This is not, not the best thing to do, but Hey, I gotta rinse it out. So here we go, I've got my potatoes and the kale and of course my milk. So normally you should add like butter or mayonnaise to this, but I want to keep it somewhat healthy. So I'm going to add just 100 milliliters of milk to get it somewhat creamy. Maybe not even going to add 100 milliliters. And then I'm just going to mash everything up together. And this is your typical Dutch food radio. And that is basically it. Now we just gotta plate it up. It is as simple as that. Taking your, taking a plate right there and just plate it up. Nothing special, nothing crazy. So clean up your saucepan. This is the special thing you need to do with this. Take your sausage and just put it on top like that. And that is the finished meal, guys. Simple as that. So you saw how I made that so simple, just mashing up kale and potatoes and adding the sausage. And I don't know why and I don't know how, but I forgot to season the potatoes and kale. Why? But yeah, I'm gonna season it with some sea salt and pepper along the way. I'm just gonna add it on top. So this is your typical Dutch meal, Dutch dish. Stompel met rookworst. So this is like a smoked sausage. You could call it a big hot dog. And this is just mashed up potatoes with some kale. So it's really simple, but this is a typical Dutch 
meal Dutch dish. I should have added like butter on this or creme fraiche or any yogurt to make it creamier but I want to keep the calories somewhat lower. The sausage is really high in fat. So here are the calories on the screen right now of this dish, of this meal. It's pretty healthy if you if you just change up the sausage for a healthier option meat. So yeah, the sausage is high in fat so the meal is like pretty calorific like around 800 calories for this whole meal. But yeah, with further ado, let's dig in. First off, I'm gonna cut up the sausage and try this one for you. I've tried it before. This is not a, a strange meal to me, but this is a typical meal that I wanted to show you. This is just processed meat, but yeah, it's delicious smoked sausage. So let's try it out. Mm. So yeah, I'm not a stranger to this sausage. I've had this sausage before. This sausage is really salty. I can notice that and it's like a hot dog. You can, you can compare it to a hot dog. But yeah, let's try out the mashed up potato with kill without pepper without salt so let's see if this is any good a typical dutch meal mm. it definitely needs salt and pepper mm. yeah i'm gonna i need to add some salt sea salt just mixing it up try this out right now it doesn't look appealing but it is it is damn good and it's it's pretty healthy like i said if you if you change up the sausage for something else Mmm, much better. Especially the pepper. Wow. Mmm, this definitely needs salt and pepper. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Back. I'm back. I'm back right now. So I'm gonna take the sausage, put it on the plate right here. I need to season it with salt and pepper. Added up the salt and pepper and just mixing it up together. So let's try it out with the sausage and the potatoes together. So here we go. Put some sausage on the fork. So here's a close-up sausage and the potatoes together. Mmm, mmm. The sausage is really salty, but together with the mashed potatoes, pretty damn good. Because I didn't add too much pepper and salt to it. Mmm, really salty. I can still taste the salt. Mmm, I love this dish. Simple stuff, but yeah, really good. If you never tried potatoes and kale, it's damn good, but add some butter or cram fraff if, if you don't watch your calories. But I want to save my calories. But definitely add some cram fraff or yogurt or quark. Mmm. This is not like a crazy meal, but this is a typical Dutch meal. So if you're Dutch, you will know this meal for sure. Roquas and you've probably have had this meal before when you see the commercial breaks of these sausages when they market this sausage You see the like family a Dutch family around the table. That is your typical like sight of a Dutch family mm. Boring but hey, we love our food mm. The sausage is damn good like the potatoes and the kill on its own is really boring, but with the sausage Mm, the combination is pretty damn good. I'm gonna rate this. It's, it's a, it is a simple meal. It is delicious, but it's nothing special. So, gotta try it out one day if for sure, just to see what a typical Dutch meal is. But I'm gonna rate this a 6 out of a 10. It's good, but it's nothing special. It's simple, really simple. But, yeah, it's nothing special. So boring. And also, if you wanna see, like, typical Dutch snacks, that I could review. We probably have one of the best tree desserts or snacks in the world. Like stroopwafel. Dutch candy is also like really good. We got good pies. We got good pastries. So if you want me to do a Dutch snack review. Like the video. Let's get it. Up to 250 Say likes. Say what? And I'm going to do a Dutch snack review. Mm, that's going to be a good one. A lot of treats. A lot of snacks. A lot of delicious desserts. Take the sausage. Put it on the plate. And just going to combine it along the way. So you saw the calories on this, not that bad. So 800 calories, 900 calories for this whole plate. The sausage is a big problem because it's fatty, but it will balance the meal out. You got the healthy potatoes and the calorific sausage. So that is a good thing. And the sausage really does make the meal right here. Just look at it. Look at the colors. You got some orange, some green. The sausage really makes the meal. Mmm. But I can notice sweets videos are doing much better on the views than these ones. If you want to see a Dutch sweet review, like the video. Let's get it up to 250 likes and I'm going to do it. This meal is boring, but I had to show you this. A typical Dutch meal. 
I love the sausage in my mouth. Okay. Two videos ago that I posted about the benching got a lot of positive feedback. I want I want to touch up on that. So I, it wasn't planned to upload that video. It, it should have been like the intro of the full day of eating, but it was a bit too long, so I cut it out. But I didn't want to delete the footage because I had to say those stuff that I said in the video because I got like a lot of questions, a lot of messages about should I do FYM. Should I do cheating? What to do? I don't know what to do. So guys, please, if you want to know my thoughts on binging, go and check that video out because, like, I've, I have binged in the past. Like, it is not that crazy what I've done, but I know what binging is. You just go on, go on, go on, go on with eating. And I've done that in the past. That is because I've changed my lifestyle a lot. I've been eating healthy all the time. And then you crave stuff and that just messed you up mess you up with like mentally i know what i've i've done in the past i've learned to live with it my like my main saying right there with the benching is balance is key i just balance it out by lowering my calories the next day and just do some cardio but i never stress about it guys the past is the past and you can't really change much about that like yes you could stress about it yes you can think about oh well what could i do what could i have done better what could i have this what what that well why why this happened guys just leave it so i try and stay positive no matter what happens but of course everybody has their moments i'm not gonna sit here like i'm the perfect guy no way guys i'm angry sometimes i'm like stressed out sometimes about things i just don't want that specific thing that stressed me out to to like control my life so if i could give you advice have a balance and of course like you can't always think positive you can't always stay happy and that's not good everybody should have emotions if you're happy all the time like why why are you happy all the time i'm not always happy yeah i do like try and stay happy for the vlog or for the videos and that is how i am most of the time i love to joke around but sometimes like I just don't want to talk. Sometimes I want to be in my own zone, especially when I'm training. I don't talk much when, while I'm training. I'm just focused on my training. And when I go to the gym, I don't want to go to drink tea, drink coffee, or just joke around. Yeah, sometimes I'm talking, joke around, but I go to the gym to crush the weight and just focus on my thing. So I'm not always happy, but I try to think positive. And if you don't try, you're not going to do it. So big advice, balance. I think positive. Keep that smile on your face. Try and stay happy. And don't just look at me as an example. Like, who am I? Have your own life. And be your own influencer. Be your own motivation. That is how I look to myself. I don't look up to someone. Yes, I might like be motivated by someone. But I'm not going to say I want to be that guy. I want to be like him. No. I want to be Darko. I want to have my own future. I want to have my own life. And that is what I want to give to you. Don't look up to someone. Yes, you could go and say, oh, he's doing a good job. But at the end, you need to be successful in what you do. And just live your own life. Guys, live your life. Do it now. I dare you. Eat some Dutch meals. Last bite. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, so that was basically the video, guys. I finished this plate. I'm not feeling full at all. And I'm feeling pretty good. So what I did do is when I bought this sausage, as you can see, this is a 48% less fat sausage. So I kept it pretty reasonable, didn't add butter to the potatoes, chosen a lower fat option. And guys, I'm going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep the, the talk right there in the video. I don't want to motivate you guys. And who am I to motivate someone? I'm just a regular guy, just like you. Nobody is special. So don't look up to me. Just be live your own life. But I'm going to leave that in there. And if I could be motivating, like I want to say balance is key, guys. If it's with food, if it's with like sports, no matter what you do, have a balance. That is how you live a good life. If you enjoyed this typical Dutch meal, like the video. And I told you, if you want to see a Dutch snack review, let's get this video up to 250 likes. 253 likes. And I'm going to do a Dutch snack review. Snack review. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe on my YouTube channel at Live Life. Follow me on Instagram at DarkerBonage right there. And if you want to be the first on these videos, turn on the notification bell right there. You will be notified when the video is up. And guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you.
Live your life. Peace.